guys. Come today I'm going to show you how to do the inv inverted fish tape. So first, take a single rubber band, twist it into a figure eight or an infinity sign, place it anywhere on two pegs. So on this whole entire loom, you'll only need two pegs. And if you have a monster tail, you can do it on that too, or a rainbow loom, or a crazy loom, any kind of loom. So you're taking single bands, and you're just going to do that. Then take another color of your color that you want, and place it regularly, regular, whatever, that where it is, and you're going to put it on top. Then take another band of your pattern, and you're going to go straight like that. Go to the side, grab this part of your infinity sign, or um, figure eight, and put it over the top. Do the same thing with the other side, and put it over the top. Push your bands down, put another straight band. There will be no more infinity eights on this. Go back down, grab the bottom blue one, put it over the top. Same thing with the other side. Push it down, and if you want, you can pull it down a little bit. Put another color of your um, bracelet, and this is where um, the infinite, where you start the inverted fishtail. After you've done at least two or three, I did two. So you're gonna go. I don't know how to explain this, but you're gonna go in, go put back the middle, pick the bottom and put it over the top. Pull it to the side a little bit. So go in through the middle on the top, pull back the middle, go down and grab the bottom. Put it over the top. Now pull it a little bit and push it down. I'll show you that step a few more times. And, yeah. Okay. So go in under the top, Pull back that middle band, grab the very bottom band, pull it over the top. Kind of just keep pulling the bottom band, which that wasn't my bottom band, like that. Go under the top band, grab behind the middle band, grab that. I know that last one just didn't make any sense, so I'll show you guys again. Make sure your bands don't get twisted. Let me show you that a few more times since it can be a little tricky. Take a regular band, put it on top of your pattern. Go under your, so don't even worry about this band, pretend it's not even there. Pull back the middle band, grab the bottom band, and put it over the top. Do the same thing on the other side. Pull back the middle band, pretend the top one's not even there, and grab the bottom, put it over the top. As you can see, the first two, I don't know if I can show you this, but the first two ones are a regular fish tail. Then it starts doing its pattern right here. So, um, I'll be back. <coughs> I'll be back as soon as I get my fish tail done. So, I'll be, or your inverted fish tail, sorry. <laughs> I'll be back as soon as I get it done. So, um, I forgot to mention though, before I leave, um, you're going to want to do this pattern, um, like the same steps and everything, till it fits your wrist. Um, and then I wish it, when I finish and it gets as long as my wrist, because this isn't even enough for my finger, um, I will, um, yeah, I will bring back the, um, I'll be back and I will do the finishing step. So yeah, I'll be back guys. I just wanted to let you know, it's not going to go through your loom in any way. It is actually going to come out the side like how it is now. It won't come up through the middle or anything. Um, so just make sure you're using your outer pegs for that. If you use your middle pegs, um, it might not work if you have not a rainbow loom or whatever. So yeah, you could use your middle row to stick off this side, but if you don't have a rainbow loom, um, then, yeah, um, also, um, this, all, I forgot to mention that this project might take you a bit, probably about 15 or 10 minutes, depending if you stop, um, 
if you stop making the bracelet for something like to eat or something, it'll definitely take longer because it'll have a break or you might forget about it. Um, but yeah, so today's a Saturday, so I'm I'm don't have anything really to do, so I'm just gonna finish this bracelet off, and I guys will show you how to finish it off. It's actually pretty simple, but I just um when I left, it's only been like one minute, and I've already gotten I mean not a minute like. 30 seconds and I already got this far. So, yeah. So it goes pretty fast for this bracelet, depending if you've gotten your pattern down. So, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys when I'm officially done and ready to end it with you guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I actually, when I started this pink and blue one, um, I already have started a green and a green, a whole green one that's light green and a jelly darker green. So, so I'm gonna, sh I did finish both so I can show you two times how to finish it. So, after you, you got it to the size you want, you want to loop over the last one. Now you should have two bands. Don't put another band on there. Take the bottom on one and loop it over. Do the same on the other side. Now there's one single band on each peg. Take that band on either side and put it onto the other peg. Now the bands are on one peg. Take the bottom, put it over the top, take it off, and slit knot it. Now it is slit knotted pretty tight. And we actually this looks really small but it, it fit me. Mm. I did it, so hopefully it does fit. Um, and we'll clip that in a minute. Let me just show you one more time. Okay, so now let's finish this other one. So there should be only two bands on each peg. Take the bottom, put it over the top. Same thing on the other one. Pull. This band might look weird. I'm going to take this side with the single band. Put it on this peg. Now there's two on one peg. Take the very bottom one and put it over, creating a slip knot. But just on a peg. And pull tight. Now you won't need your loom anymore. Take an S clip, T clip, or any kind of clip you have. Cook the slip knot onto one side. And there's going to be two of these little, um, the begin from the beginning, there'll be like these little two little bands just sitting at the end loose. So take the other end of the C clip and hook it. There's your front. And there's two different ways you can wear it. It's inside out or it's gonna be all kinda twisted so you can pull it and stretch it. This is the front and this is the back. So it is multi sided. You don't have to wear it that a certain way. Take this an S clip. Pull it like that. I really like both sides. They both look really unique. Pull it through. And there you go. Here are your inverted fishtail bracelets. I hope your guys just came out perfect just like mine. Sorry I couldn't show you what it looked like in the beginning, but um, so but that's okay. So, thank you guys for watching. You Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to me. You guys know the whole deal. So, bye guys. See you later on my channel. Bye.